We're gonna do a lot of changes with this thing and I'm gonna share it all with you. So let me show you this car, or this mower. Love this thing. I love the big goofy headlight. It reminds me of a street sweeper for some reason. But I love that limited edition model, industrial commercial, these awesome little side scoops in the front. This is what sold me on the design of this thing. Just love that scoop look. It has the vented hood. It's just really cool. I think this thing's gonna look awesome once it's all low to the ground. I believe it's a 79 or 89. So it's got some age to it, but it's not entirely ancient. It's not a fossil, even though it looks like one. It has a nice crusty seat. Let me know if anybody wants this. Just kidding, that thing's done. Before we start wrenching and taking a lot of this undercarriage stuff off, I just wanted to show you before it looks entirely different than what it is right now. Briggs and Stratton motor in there. I'm sure this thing would run because I got the motor to turn, but we got different plans for that. Do you guys like this rustic patina look? And should I throw a clear coat on it to kind of give it some shine? Or should I do the original color schemes all brand new paint? Drop that down in the comments and let me know because I'm kind of torn in between the two. Really love this style, but I think it would be cool to see it new. But I really like this style, so I don't know. Just let me know. We're going to get to it right about now. We got this thing all the way tipped over. And these four bolts, I got three out of four out. This one looks like it's in there, but it's snapped on the other side because this thing's pretty old and crusty. But this one won't move for crap, so didn't want to, but I'm going to try the best I can to get the angle grinder right here and just kind of cut through the bolt and try to save this as much as I can because even though I'm not using these parts, I want to preserve it as much as I can and somebody else maybe might need it so that's what I'm gonna do right now all right we just cut through that bolt everything's free so I might try pulling it out while it's sideways or I might put it back on its feet jack it up and pull it out that way but either way we're about to take this thing out in here but next we're gonna take off this deck get rid of everything right there so slowly just kind of strip this thing from all that it has make it better this is also my first time working on a mower never done this before but taking apart stuff is easy but if I had to put any of this back together it would definitely be a head scratcher for me but Thankfully, we're just gonna run a live axle through here and strip all these heavy parts off it. It seems like there's these pins on each corner, front and back, so I'm gonna start with taking those off and see what it does after I do that. <laughs> We cut all these bolts right here, took off the blades, pushed out all these pins that were stuck. But now, yep, these things are pretty complex to be honest. That's wild. I'm so happy that's off. We're taking all of this stuff off, so I'm just gonna make a quick little fast forward video of me going through all of this stuff because basically what we need is a clean platform with none of this stuff in the way and then I could start planning on exactly what I need to do for the future setup. <laughs> got so much stuff off can't believe how much stuff just one little lawnmower can have but there's all the messy dirt that fell out a bunch of broken bolts a lot of the linkages the deck the axle 
Now I'm going to flip it back over so I could start working on taking out the engine and all that stuff. Pulled off the hood. Thing looks cool, man. All right, now we gotta pull out the engine. Once I do that, we're gonna get a lot of this stuff stripped out. Got the old motor out. Mower's nice and empty. Still have to take out all of that stuff, clean it up. I could start planning a little bit more seriously. I only got all of that stuff out. Stoked. I got the front end taken off already. I forgot to record that, but there it is. I have a bunch of wires and cables left, so I'm gonna take those out and then we'll start deciding for other stuff. So I did a bunch of stuff off camera, but I'll tell you what I did. So this uh, control panel right here, I cut the bottom of it all around so it'd become shorter. And the reason why I did that is because the hood sat really tall compared to the rear and I wanted it to look somewhat proportioned right. So I cut that and now the hood's gonna sit lower, but I also have to make new holes for that hood to bolt up. So I drilled this hole right here and I left a few of them exposed for other stuff that's gonna be there. Made some cuts right here so it all fits right. But right now, I just have these wheels. I have one on the back too. I just want you to tell me what you think. Once I upload this video, leave a comment and tell me if you think this wheel looks right or does it look a little goony? I think it looks pretty cool. <laughs> This thing looks pretty cool. I got the hood where I want it to be. Now it's just all the fabrication work, axles, custom front axle, deciding what motor, all of that good stuff. But I think it's turning out pretty good so far. I think that's going to conclude build part one. It'll be build two, build part number two. And maybe I'll complete it in that video, but who knows. Thanks for watching.